a look at Bill Gates' uh, chart and, and see if we can see why he was uh, so successful. Um, he w if you looked at the uh, eastern horizon when he was born, uh, this, the constellation uh, of Gemini was rising at 22 degrees and 14 minutes. So this, this number, 22 degrees, becomes the most effective point of every house. Any planet that is within 5 degrees, say from, uh, say from uh, 17 degrees to uh, 27 degrees, um, will have a, a strong impact. So, uh, Gemini's, uh, it's an air sign. That means people are very much in their head, very creative, very intellect, strong intellect. And it's a dual sign. That means they're flexible. Uh, when we look at a chart, we want to see what the functional benefic planets are and the functional malefics. And so if you find a multicrona sign, which are 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, and 11, in any of the houses that cause challenges, the 6th house, the 8th house, or the 12th house, those planets that rule those signs located in those houses become functional malefic. Geminis do not have any functional malefics besides Rahu and K2. And so it's a, it's, in some ways it's a very, very powerful uh, sign to have. Um, we can just look and see how the planets are operating and when they're operating and uh, what we can do to even uh, to remedy or fix the chart, fix your chart, fix your life. Now, in Bill Gates' situation, he did not have a lot to fix. But there are some planets that could have been strengthened to um, just smooth out, make smoother sailing. Um, so Sun is uh, loc Sun, Venus, and Saturn are all located. Uh, in this fifth house of creativity, independence, children, and investments. Sun is uh, ruling uh, the third house of communication and entrepreneurial success. And it, in this chart, it is actually debilitated. So it could have been strengthened to even um, given him more um, possibilities. Uh, Venus uh, is also located in this, uh, and it's uh, this particular house, the fifth house of creativity, uh, conjunct with Saturn. It's within five degrees, so there is some impact. So Venus is ruling, the. it's in its own house. So that makes it very powerful. And uh, so Venus gives huge creativity, um, a beautiful wife, a, a, a very bright wife. Um, and Saturn, which is ruling the house of good fortune. So this combination is very, very good for his success, um, especially the Venus and Saturn uh, being conjunct in that fifth house of um, investments and creativity. And he also had uh, three beautiful children as well. Uh, so uh, let's look at some other planets. Uh, s s uh, Mars is uh, ruling the house of income in the house of uh, property and family life. He amassed quite a bit of, uh, of property and had a very strong foundation with his family life. His parents gave him a lot of support and good education. Um, and it's also in that same house with Mercury. Mercury it gives, um, it's in its own house and it's strong. And so it's giving um, good intellect, um, good business sense, 
um, uh, uh, ability to communicate well. And, and so this, um, you know, give him uh, computer engineering skills, IT skills, working with the public. Now it's, it's uh, Moon is uh, ruling the fourth house of, I mean, the second house of recognition and wealth uh, located in the house of career. So I'm working with the public, um, good intuition, um, all uh, supporting his su success. Uh, Jupiter uh, rules the seventh house um, of partnerships, and it is located in this house of entrepreneurial success. So he his um, partnership with Paul Allen uh, was very much um, supportive of. Uh, it's just slightly weak. Any planet that's less than five degrees or more than twenty-five degrees. Um, is this is in young age uh, young people uh, cannot uh, defend themselves so just slightly so it gives a little bit of weakness but um, yeah it gives it still uh, gave uh, good uh, support for the partnership to be successful uh, Venus and we already went through Venus it's it's in in this house of creativity and education, investments in children, gave good wife, etc. Saturn, again, we already went through, gave good uh, good fortune through father. Uh, sir, he also, uh, much very much a visionary, uh, I think gave good uh, ability as a visionary, and also very charitable person. It gave to, you know, um, the most amount of money ever given to vaccines, uh, for third world countries and uh, started a foundation to uh, um, find cures for all kinds of different diseases. Um, um, I had the very good fortune of going to the same high school as he. I didn't know he was about five years behind me, but I, I met him at school and then later on uh, on a ballet uh, board and uh, also had good fortune to design the first Microsoft building and his building that supported the the research on um, uh, for uh, cures for different types of illnesses. Uh, Rahu and K2 are both functional malefic in every person's chart, um, but they aren't causing, they're almost benign. Uh, K2 actually afflicts five, seven, and nine houses away if it's within five degrees. So uh, we see that one, two, three, four, five, uh, is a, it's afflicting Mercury. Um, giving, you know, Mercury gives insight and to this uh, Mercury in communications, um, but it can bring some ups and downs as well, depending on the transit periods. And uh, so, uh, that's the only affliction. Um, and uh, let's see here. So he pretty much, you know, because he didn't have, uh, uh, only had the two functional malefics and only one affliction, had pretty smooth sailing. Uh, remedies that could be um, supported would be uh, wearing a kavash, which would strengthen um, Saturn, which is just slightly an old age, and Venus, which is a slightly an old age, um, and uh, Sun, which is debilitated. Um, Mars is actually in fairly good shape. It's one of his best planets. Gave him ambition and drive to be successful. Um, Mercury uh, is also very strong and, and uh, doesn't need much strengthening. But Jupiter, slightly weak, would have given him um, uh, even better uh, success um, in terms of uh, partnerships. Now we can look at the uh, Vimsatari uh, Dasha periods and we see that he was born uh, in a uh, Saturn period. Uh, Saturn uh, rules this house of good fortune. So the, the planetary period you're born in is like the root of the tree of life. It, it kind of gives the overview of the direction you're headed in life. So very good to start in a, 
in a planet that is um, ruling the house of good fortune. Um, he went into, uh, in uh, 1959, he went into um, uh, many years of uh, a Mercury period. Uh, Mercury is uh, very close to the rising sign degree, so that gives it a lot of strength. And uh, so um, it actually um, supports success in career. And Mercury uh, aspects seven houses away, which is the house of career and the house of property and family. So very strong sam family support and a lot of uh, property amassed in his lifetime. Um, and uh, Mercury is also the planet that supports, uh, you know, intellect and communication, which is really the IT industry. Um, even at the early age of 15, uh, he was earning money um, doing something to do with computers. Um, I, I think during the Mercury period, he also entered Harvard, but then uh, as K because of the K2 affliction and uh, gave him a want, uh, desire for a strong independence, he quit and he founded Microsoft in um, 1981. And uh, then he went into, uh, let's see here, he uh, uh, then he went into a Venus period, uh, which in, in 91, 1991 he became the richest man in um, the, uh, the United States. Uh, in 94 he married during that Venus period with Venus's wife. Uh, in, v in 1995 he went into a, a Venus uh, period uh, with a, a subperiod of Jupiter. Jupiter has to do with this house of government and father and but also good fortune. So there was some um, uh, issues with the government with the antitrust lawsuit uh, in 95. So that, that has to do with government. Um, in 2003, he went into a, a sun period, uh, which gave uh, lots of uh, success. Um, and then in 2009 until uh, now, he's in a moon period where he's gaining a lots of recognition and, and wealth. So um, this is the chart for Bill Gates. Um, and these are the main points.